Motorcycle racing is something that Honda knows very well. They are capable of crushing the competition brutally and with a concept that has never been seen before. Mr. Soichiro Honda never liked two strokes. Hence the Japanese manufacturer did their best with the oval cylinder technology to beat them. However, when they finally decided to go for it with a two-stroke, they were unstoppable in the 500cc World Championship class, winning 10 riders and 9 constructors titles between 1984 to 2001. In 2002, new regulations came into effect. The two-strokes were still limited to 500cc, but 990cc of engine displacement allowed for a four-stroke was a deal-breaker. A 4-stroke has never made comparable power per litre levels of a 2-stroke, but having twice as much displacement gives them a huge advantage to benefit from. The Honda NSR 500 in its top spec configuration made over 200 horsepower, about 400 horsepower per litre, but that was far under 990cc 4-strokes bottom power. Honda quickly initiated a new engine development and brainstormed what would be the best design. It started with a twin cylinder which was enough to be faster than the two-stroke and would have as little as 135 kilograms. Other engine layouts were also considered, such as a four and five cylinder, including a V6 concept, but they eventually settled for a V5. One of the reasons fueling this idea was the fact that nobody has done it before and the weight requirement of 145 kg minimum was identical to a 4-stroke competition. The company reverted back to the old style of racing bike nomenclature, previously seen on models like an inline 5 RC149 or inline 6 RC166. The RC stands for racing cycle. This new machine would carry the name RC211V as the first race bike of the 21st century with a V-shaped engine. The V5 brought various benefits to the table. It was narrower than an inline 3 or 4 as the cylinders sharing the same 990cc of displacement could be smaller. There are no official bore stroke dimensions, but they are all of the same sizes compared to the rumored rear ones being larger. There were two double overhead cam heads combining 20 valves in total, two injectors per cylinder and a complex titanium exhaust system. One could see it as a V4 with an additional cylinder and when looking at its crankshaft, it was clearly a drone 360 degree crankshaft with an offset piston added in the middle. The drone firing order was quite typical for Honda at the time, being used in machines like an NC30 RC30 or RC45. Based on experience with Big Bang firing order in two strokes, which essentially improves grip during corner exits and the throttle, the V5 had to have firing order with longer ignition pauses to allow the rear tire to regain traction. And with an odd number of cylinders, smoothness was another requirement to meet. We can only imagine how long did it take engineers to calculate the ideal bang angle by they settled on 75.5 degrees. This figure is a trigonometric value, arcos cosinus of 1 fourth. The outer pair of cylinders share their crankshaft pins, both spaced 0 or 360 degrees from each other but the middle one was placed 104.5 degrees away from them. That caused firing intervals as shown here. The engine did not need a balancing shaft. The middle piston cancelled out forces of the other pistons caused by the bang angle, allowing for a perfect primary balance. In the end, the engine ran incredibly smooth, allowing for small cylinders, more revs, drone-like big bang firing order, and a middle piston being an element of both the combustion and balance of the V5. The engine accommodating a wider front bank with three cylinders and a narrower rear one with just two was placed inside a twin spar frame 
with an emphasis on mass centralization and low center of gravity. There was a semi dry sum design which contained oil in the transmission cavity. It helped to stabilize oil level and reduce pumping losses and blow by while increasing the strength of the crankcase. The initial output of the engine was a bit over 210 horsepower at 14,000 rpm and right away won 14 out of 16 races in 2002. Though that was far below its full potential as Honda proved later on. The following year in 2003, there were some minor changes to the intake, exhaust and cylinder size ratio while an electronic throttle control was used for the first time. This was a huge thing as these 4 strokes had a strong engine braking of about 30 horsepower which was enough to put the rear grip at risk. The effect was reduced by managing the throttle body by the ECU. The power of the V5 raised to 230 horsepower, about 500 rpm higher. Engineers would not stop developing and perfecting the engine as for the 2004 season it would not remain the same whatsoever, alongside even wider pistons allowing for a 15,000 rev limit. The crankshaft time was changed from the original concept as well, supposedly firing two and two cylinders at the same time. This was a different style of the Big Bang firing order. A new Honda Intelligent throttle control system was introduced as well, which cooperated with several inputs to adjust throttle bodies to modulate engine power in order to get the most grip of the rear tire. In 2005, further minor upgrades were done, but most importantly, the power output reached levels of 250 horsepower at 16,000 rpm. In 2006, it was already known that for the next season, a new engine regulation would come into effect, with 800cc and 4 cylinders being the limit. That did not stop Honda from further perfecting the V5. The front cylinders were cable operated while the rear ones remained electronic, which was done to improve engine response. Officially, a power of 265 horsepower was reached, but the craziest rumors mention a 300 plus horsepower figure. After the last 4 stroke attempt in a GP racing, the oval piston design, Honda has come a long way and learned a lot thanks to the NSR 500 success. The RC Twilliam V was capable of over 343 km power of top speed at Mugello and Honda was able to gain 3 constructors titles and as many riders titles as well, 2 by Valentino Rossi and a single one achieved by Nicky Hayden in 2006. Following the 2007 regulations, Honda introduced an 800cc 75.5 degree V4 to compete. It produced just about 227 horsepower at 19,000 rpm, but it was about 15 km slower than the V5. Neither did it manage to win as many titles. Unlike the unsuccessful oval piston engine, the V5 never received a production engine, even though it was allegedly in work. We can only remind this great era by hearing the glorious Big Bang V5.